Martin from this book, The Last Pass, it seems you were thinking a lot about one teammate in particular, Bill Russell. During my years with Russ and the glory years, I was, uh, I was focusing, unfortunately, more on being Bob Cousy and doing my thing and completely self-absorbed as opposed to questions like, why are we all here? And so I, I was aware of prejudice and in 53, I think, I was on the road with Chuck Cooper, the first black kid that the NBA drafted, who and I became dear friends. I roomed with him the first year, as a matter of fact. So you have this great relationship with Chuck Cooper, who's an African-American. Mm -hmm. So what do you think prevented you and Russell from having that same relationship? I don't know. Russ could be intimidating. As I say, outside the locker room, with us, he'd let, we'd joke, and uh, we had somewhat of a relationship, but I, for some reason, it probably was me, I guess I was introverted, uh, considerably growing up. Maybe that played into my not reaching out to him. My responsibility, as I look back on it, to have reached out more and said, Russ, let's go to a movie this afternoon. Russ, let's go have a beer. What? I didn't do that, and he was, I guess he didn't know how to how to treat this white superstar either. I must have subconsciously a guilt about not doing more, but I sent Russ a copy of uh, Between Two Worlds with a little note and said basically, I don't know. Russ, I know you and I aren't pen pals. I think in retrospect, when you got to the team in 56, I was the man, I was, you know, the media, blah, blah. Uh, I should have felt your pain much more. I should have reached out. I should have, I did my confession <laughs> and, uh, and signed off. I sent the letter three years ago and uh, uh, I never got a response. The title, The Last Pass, is what that refers to, my letter to us. Sunday night, I was dozing as I do, old folks do that a lot, at 8.30 at night and the phone rang and uh, it was my friend, Bill Russell. But he said, Bob, this is Bill Russell. I'm just calling to see how you're doing. And I said, Russ, so I dropped you a note in the book three years ago. And he said, yes, uh, I got the note, but I haven't read the book. <laughs> I'm guessing here, but you wrote this letter because you needed some closure. Now you actually talked to Russ. You didn't really get the closure. I'm, I don't want to put words in oh, your mouth. No, but... I did. I did. Uh, Jackie, I got the closure three years ago. I'm glad he called. Hey, Russ, you know, we experienced, as we said earlier, something that's never been done before in sports. So there's a certain bond there that is created. And so from that standpoint, I was glad he called. And uh, whatever was said between us, it was amicable. It was, and I had said my stuff to him twice, uh, really. So anyway, it, uh, it was a happy ending for me.